Today we're talking five whiskey brands that may be new to you that you definitely need to be trying. Let's do this. So let's first start out with a few honorable mentions. For me, one of my tops and one of my absolute favorite brands, and the only reason they're part of the honorable mention is they've been out now for a little while, Forgate Whiskey Company. Absolutely incredible bourbons, specifically Finnish bourbons and rye doing absolutely amazing things with the whiskeys that they're securing. If you haven't tried them, I know they're a premium price, but definitely give them a try. It will be worth every penny that you spend on them. Second and third honorable mentions, Cedar Ridge out of the state of Iowa, Buzzard's Roost out of Kentucky. Both, again, different style bourbons for the most part, but doing absolutely amazing things. And two brands that may be new to you that you haven't been introduced to yet that I definitely think you need to be trying. Again, Cedar Ridge out of Iowa, Buzzard's Roost out of the good old state of Kentucky. There you go, honorable mention, Four Gate Whiskey, Cedar Ridge, Buzzard's Roost. Let's dive into today's list of five whiskey brands you need to know about. Let's start the list off with a whiskey brand from the state of Wisconsin. One of my favorites, Driftless Glen. Again, if this isn't a brand that you're familiar with, you definitely need to get familiar with them. What it is they're doing, again, they're out of Baraboo, Wisconsin, doing some absolutely amazing things. Bourbons, rye, other spirits, finished whiskeys. So they were definitely something that I wanted to get on that list of five whiskey brands you need to know about. So there you have it, Driftless Glen out of the state of Wisconsin. First, I have to say a big thank you to Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. Well, Magic Spoon, you've brought me right back to my childhood. Saturday morning cartoons, big bowl of your favorite cereal, and the rest is history. Now that I've gotten a little bit older, maybe less cartoons, but in an effort to take a little bit better care of myself, add more protein to my life, Magic Spoon has become my choice for that. Now, I think it'll do the same exact thing for you. So if you're someone who is looking to introduce a little bit more protein to your life, enjoy a fantastic cereal, voila, you've got the perfect solution right here in front of you. So coming in with four incredible flavors, fruity, frosted, cocoa, peanut butter, which is my ultimate favorite, as you can see right now. All of these have zero grams of sugars, 13 to 14 grams of protein, only four to five net carbs, only 140 calories. Yes, you heard it right. Only 140 calories in comparison to those old sugary cereals that we all used to eat as a kid. And it's also keto friendly, soy free and gluten free. Click the link below and make sure you grab a variety pack of Magic Spoon cereal and try it today. Be sure you use my code MBJ23 at checkout and enjoy $5 off your order or go to magicspoon.com backslash MBJ23. If you don't like it, they'll refund your money 100%, no questions asked. Make sure you click the link below or scan the QR code that you see on your screen right now and use code MBJ23 to enjoy $5 off your order or go to magicspoon.com backslash MBJ23 and again, enjoy $5 off your order. So I have to say a big thank you to Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. Next up at number two on this list, out of, get this, Bourbon, Missouri, Barrel King. What my buddy Jared and his wife Rachel are doing with this brand, and again, if it's something that you're not overly familiar with, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's something that you definitely need to get familiar with. Barrel King, doing absolutely amazing things with their bourbons, their rise, some of their finishes from Willet barrels to Stag Junior barrels. What it is they're doing and kind of pushing the envelope again is absolutely amazing and had to be on my list of five whiskey brands you need to know about here in 2023. So there you have it, Barrel King out of Bourbon, Missouri. Doesn't get any better than that. Next up and coming in at number three on my list, Found North. What it is that Nick and his brother have done with this brand. Now, in all transparency, this is a Canadian whiskey that they do several kind of finishes on. They also have a single barrel program that they're working on at this time. But what it is that Nick and his brother have done again with Found North and securing these aged Canadian whiskeys 
and the finishes that they're implementing on these and the quality of the whiskey is in my mind second to none in terms of what it is that they're doing with the Canadian whiskey uh, brand. So again, what it is Found North is. So again, if Found North is a company that you're not familiar with, I would tell you today, get familiar with them. I think it's a company that you're gonna see a lot more of uh, here in the next several years and beyond. They're doing some amazing things. I think they're setting the standard for American whiskey drinkers who are gonna then maybe be drinking some Canadian whiskey. And this is a fine, fine example of a well-crafted Canadian whiskey. Absolutely incredible. So again, if you haven't heard of or you haven't tried anything from Found North, make sure you get familiar with them, try them, check them out online, secure some bottles. This just happens to be batch five and six, their most recent releases, but anything for the future going forward, make sure you check out what it is that Found North is doing. Absolutely amazing things. Coming in at number four on this list for me, one of my absolute favorites, what it is that Brian and his team are doing over at Sagamore, incredible. Their attention to detail, how really well connected they as a brand are with the whiskey community goes an awful long way. Outside of that, they just so happen to be producing incredible, incredible whiskeys. Most of it at this point is all rye, lots of finishing ryes, but generally speaking, some sourcing. But the interesting part of what it is that Sagamore does is they blend two different mash bills together to create their rye whiskey blend. Absolutely amazing what it is they do. Offers just a really slight or unique profile, but one that is absolutely delicious. They've won a lot of awards. They've really won over, I'll say, the whiskey community overall, and rightfully so. What it is that they do as a team and the whiskeys that they're producing. If Sagamore Spirits out of Baltimore, Maryland is something that you've either overlooked, passed by in the aisle, don't do it any longer. Make sure you check out what it is that Sagamore Spirits is doing. I think you'll truly, truly appreciate the quality, the craftsmanship of this whiskey as soon as that whiskey hits your lip. So there you have it, my number four on the list out of Baltimore, Maryland, Sagamore Spirits. Coming in at number five, last and definitely not least, Starlight Distillery out of the good old state of Indiana. What it is that the Hubers have done over the course of the last few years, the quality, the craftsmanship, all of that in a nutshell has now reflected into what these whiskeys are that everyone is enjoying now. And again, if Starlight is something that you are familiar with, great, rightfully so. If for some reason Starlight is a brand that still escaped you and it's something that you haven't tried, I would say not only go there, the grounds are absolutely beautiful, the whiskeys are just as great. They're doing an awful lot of different types of styles uh, from just standard bourbons, rye, Amburana finish, um, Applejack finish, all kinds of different things, wine finishes. They're really, really introducing themselves to this whiskey market in a big, bold way. So I think the traction that they've got now kind of moving into 2023 is gonna go well beyond this year and hopefully into the future because what it is that they're doing needs to be known. And again, if Starlight is a brand that is new to you, uh, I think it's something that you need to definitely be checking out as far as a brand. Again, I wouldn't have these brands on this list if it wasn't something that not only that I enjoyed, but brands that I believe in heavily. And everyone that is on this list are all companies that I really, really enjoy. And I think you will too. And definitely something that now that we're into the first part of 2023, make sure these guys are on your radar going forward. Check them out. Give them a try. I think all of these are brands that you're really, really going to appreciate and hopefully fall in love with as much as I have. There you have it. My five whiskey brands you need to be knowing about right now. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. If you'd like to help support the channel and become part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club, make sure you check out the Patreon link in the description below. Guys, thank you. And remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Make sure you're checking out these new whiskey brands 
to you today. Cheers.